Welcome to lesson 13 homework of module 7, second grade. Write your name. And now, this is uh, two pages. I'm going to do two different videos, one for each page. So this is just going to be the first page, and then there's going to be another video for page two. This is page one. Kelly bought a pencil sharpener for 47 cents and a pencil for 35 cents. What was her change from a dollar? So, <clears throat> let's see, she had, we have to RDW this. So I'm gonna draw a tape diagram for this and then we'll write our equations. So we have a pencil sharpener, S for the sharpener, 47 cents and she also bought a pencil right, that's P for pencil for 35 and her change from a dollar now changes so she pays a dollar bill for this stuff and she's gonna get some money back we got to figure out dollars a hundred cents we have to figure out how much money is she gonna get back there's our picture so we gotta add these two to figure out this much and then subtract it from the hundred to find out how much her change is gonna be how much she's gonna get back from the cashier so the 47 and the 35 uh, you could, you might be able to do that mentally, or you can just add it up vertically. Seven and five is twelve. That's a ten and a two. And there we have three and four, seven. That's eight. This is eighty-two cents. Eighty-two. Eighty-two cents. 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 And so we have 82 cents. <clears throat> if you're good at subtracting from 100, you might be able to do this mentally, but you'd still have to write out the equation. 100 minus 82. That's going to be 18. So Kelly... That's 18 cents change. That should be got, really, right? She got 18 cents change. Number two. Hey Jung bought a pencil a pretzel she bought a pretzel for three dimes and a nickel three dimes and a nickel that's 35 so that's 35 I'm just gonna write that down right there she also bought a juice box uh, she spent 92 cents how much was the juice box so um, we know she spent 92 cents that's the total She spent 92 cents altogether, but she bought a pretzel and a juice box. So this is how much she, let me say that, 92 cents. She spent, this is how much she spent. She spent 92 cents. Here's the, this part was the pretzel and this part of what she spent is the juice box. Uh, we know that the pretzel was three dimes and a nickel. So we figured out the three dimes and a nickel, that's 30 and five, that's 35. So if you could write that like I've been doing. You could write that up here. 30 plus five equals 35. So that's our first step is figuring out that that's 35. And now you gotta figure out 92 minus 35 what's the difference between those you could add them up 
a lot of different ways to do it. I'm going to use the vertical method. And <clears throat> this could be 2 minus, but I can't, I don't have enough ones here, so I'm going to have to do some unbundling, regrouping, renaming, a lot of things you can call it, but I'm going to break up one of those tens. 12 minus 5, not on the ones. 7, 8 minus 3, 5. The juice box. Was 57 cents. Now, even if you can do the subtraction mentally, you still at least write out the equation to show the operation that you did. Nolan has one quarter, one nickel, and 21 pennies. His brother gave him two coins, but doesn't say what kind of coins they are. Now he has 86 cents. What two coins did his brother give him? So we could do a, we could do a big tape diagram for this. Now the whole thing is going to come out to 86 cents. I'm going to make a really big piece of tape here, 86 cents. And the quarter is 25. And the nickel is 5. 21 pennies is 21 cents, right? And his brother gave him two coins. The two coins are going to add up to this much. And once we figure out how much it is, then we can figure out what kind of coins uh, he might have given him. And there might be more than one right answer to this, because a lot of times there's more than one way to make to make uh, an amount out of coins. So let's see. We have to figure out what this is together, and then we can figure out the difference between 86 and this. So this total here, uh, 25 plus 5 plus 21 equals, and we could probably do this mentally, the 25 and the 5 is 30, and think 30 plus 21 is going to be 51. You might be able to do that mentally, or you can write it down, or you can add it all up vertically. There's a lot of different methods you could use to add that together. That's 51. So now we have to figure out the 86 minus the 51. Uh, and you can use arrow way to add that up or subtract it down. But I'm going to use 86 minus 51 because this looks like some easy vertical subtraction to do. And we have enough ones to take one from six, so that's just five. And then eight minus five, three. So 35 cents. I have to figure out two coins that make 35 cents. Now, if I did it with dimes, I would have three dimes and a nickel, that's four coins, that won't do it. So I gotta, I'm going to have to use a large coin. Uh, if I did that with a quarter, 25, and then I would need 10 more to make 35, I would need a dime. I could do that with a quarter and a, and a dime. So you can't do it with just dimes. You have to use a, a, a larger value coin, like a quarter, and then you have 10 cents left. That's that's how you can figure it out, and your answer is uh, Nolan got. You can just draw, if you don't know how to write it out, you can just draw a picture of it. from his brother. And if you want to write it out, you can spell quarter and a dime. And uh, don't forget to look for uh, page two.